Good morning, beautiful souls. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. And it's Meditation Monday and it's cool and it's been raining overnight here. And I've been tuning into what is kind of most prominent at the moment and what Mother Earth is asking for and what what is needed. And I got back the picture of flowing lava, of fire. Now, if you think about what lava does, it adds land, it adds fertility, but at the same time, it is very destructive and it completely reshapes wherever it is having it, wherever it is connecting to the, the land at which it is, it is pouring over. Now, there's two very active, there's two active volcanoes at the moment, one in La Palma in the Canary Islands and also the, the, the famous one in Hawaii which is if you if you read into how the Hawaiian locals work with with the mountain, they, they honour it, they work with the flow. In fact some of them even prepare their, 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 their gardens for its arrival in and in the in the kind of context with which if they they are working with the energy of Pele and with the fire dragons that they will remain unscathed and the whole thing the whole thing is very it's it's very integral they were very much honoring it and working with it now this is the energy that mother earth it, mother earth is requiring of us at the moment to bless to honor to work in harmony with and particularly to be aware of the fact that she is going through a birthing process and a changing process. So it is our, our kind of duty almost on a soul level to hold strong the unity grid on this surface while she makes the changes. So just take a few moments and tune in. You might get your own personal messages from her this morning. Okay, there's a lot going on on the surface. Every everything has changed. It's like a big, like a big bowl of interconnected spaghetti that that hasn't been sorted out or straightened into lines yet. And that straightening process is occurring, and will be occurring over the next few months. But what of the ground beneath our feet? What of Mother Earth herself, of Gaia? Just take a few moments and tune in. Just breathe in through your nose. and out through your mouth and do it again breathe into your heart center this time breathe in through your nose out through your mouth breathe in through your nose and on the third breath fully activate your heart center so that you are surrounded in a bubble of beautiful golden white heart light. And just rest within that for a few moments. And also be aware of your earth star chakra below the soles of your feet, which is a beautiful silver. Some of you may perceive it as bright silver. Some of you may perceive it as hematite gray, which is with the color of hematite. But either way, the earth star is connected to the earth. It is below the soles of your feet, below ground level. So you are tuned into Mother Earth via this chakra. Feel the soles of your feet actually start to light up and buzz just a little bit as you become aware of your earth star. Now feel yourself grounding in. You might start to see silver roots extending from your Earth Star Chakra, integrating and being held by Mother Earth. Now Mother Earth has a heartbeat, she has a pulse. If you listen very carefully, you'll be able to feel that. You'll be able to feel that within the roots of your Earth Star Chakra.
Now just either out louder in your head, <clears throat> just take a few moments to ask Gaia, the throne angel of Earth, what it is that she would like most at this moment in time from us, the consciously aware, the light workers on this planet. You may get an answer straight away or it might just come, it might even come in on a subconscious level, on a feeling level, a little bit later. And again, as before, I'm getting the message returned to me. Stability and unity, strength and love. So I'm just calling upon the dragons, the fire dragons, the earth dragons, the air dragons and the water dragons to provide a blessing for Mother Earth and for everybody living upon her just by stabilising the elements, by stabilising the wind by blessing the seas with Christ consciousness, by flooding the molten rock beneath our feet and the solid rock with the love of the earth dragons. And also the fire too, to see the fire flowing through the lay systems. So calling upon the fire dragons to clear and balance all lower frequency energies within and without our reality upon Mother Earth's surface and also inside to see the fire dragons blessing the liquid rock, the bright orange magma particularly the volcanoes on La Palma and in Hawaii and all of the other active volcanoes around this planet. We are calling for a blessing from the fire dragons. To so see them holding the lava stable, calling to Pele the Hawaiian God to also bless these vents, these constructive measures. And just let them know that we are working in unity with Mother Earth, that we are aware, we are awake, we are to hold everything stable throughout these changes. And when calling upon the earth dragons to bless the solid rock, the crystals, the ground upon which we walk, the mountains, the tectonic plates, see the earth dragons holding the tectonic plates stable so that if they do shift and they do move, they only move exactly the quantity of distance and the degrees and the angles that they need to, to make the new grid safe and secure. Earth dragons are vast creatures. You might see them actually lining the edges of the tectonic plates that hold our planet together. See them bonding together with the fire dragons creating unity and stability. Now calling to the dragons of the water to bless the seas. These beautiful blue and green etheric liquid dragons just moving through our waters, blessing the rain, blessing the rivers, blessing the vast seas that cover our planet. 
and also asking for the blessings of Neptune and Poseidon this morning. And just see all of this love, fire, earth, air, and water pouring in now. And as the winds swirl around our planet, we call upon the air dragons. If winds blow through our life, physically, or if they blow, blow through our ascension process emotionally, ask the air dragons to hold everything stable. Allow them to remove what needs to be removed from ourselves and our planet at this time, but blow the air through clean. So just take a few moments to ask this to happen. Sometimes huge movements of air very suddenly can lead destruction. Just ask them to bring it through at a speed at this moment in time that will provide balance and unity. So blessings from the fire, the earth, the water, and the air dragons and see all of this occurring around Mother Earth as if you're watching her from a higher perspective. See the energy sinking into Mother Earth, the planet. See Gaia receiving it and lighting up and also giving her thanks and her gratitude. She is pleased that we are recognising this she is pleased that there are people upon the surface who are working for her betterment, who are, under, who are understanding. And just feel her love flowing into your heart via your Earth Star Chakra. See this coming into the Earth Star Chakra below the soles of your feet, flowing up your legs, into your hips, into your stomach into your chest and filling your heart centre. Breathe in Gaia's blessing now into your heart. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out for a few moments to see the golden white of your heart centre just light up a beautiful blue-green, the colour of Gaia's energy. And so just with a few, for a few moments, with your hand on your heart, just ask that the fire, earth, air and the water dragons continue to work. Blessing Mother Earth, providing stability. Stability for the fire in its lava form as it makes the changes. The air, the winds as it blows through physically, maybe sometimes through our lives as well. The earth, the solid beneath our feet, the tangible and the seas. As the seas carry the Christ consciousness around our planet, so to see them all blessed and loved and lit up. Okay, and just when you are ready, bring yourself back to where you are and open your eyes. Okay. I really felt that within my heart centre and especially the connection beneath my feet, the Earth Star Chakra. It's a very, that was a very impromptu, a very impromptu blessing. I just came out this morning and tuned into what is needed at the moment. And um, if you do that again, maybe without me leading the meditation, you might get a completely different set of feedback from Mother Earth. Begin to tune into her and ask her what she needs at the moment. This is what she's requesting from all of us. So sending you loads of love and I'll see you again on Friday for my Ascension update. Bye for now.